Hey guys, it's Clone Bricks, and now I want to show you my latest creation. Here we can see the Imperial gunship. So I was inspired by the Bad Batch TV series on Disney Plus, and so I forged the 7676 Republic gunship from 2008 or 9. It was, in my opinion, the best LEGO has ever done, and I always liked the Clone Wars version with the four doors more. Than the episode 2 and 3 versions so i decided to recreate the bad batch imperial gunship as best as i could with the parts lego has available and so yeah i bought many parts on bricklink and many I had in my own collection so yeah let's take a quick comparison to the uh, original 7676 republic gunship as you can see here, it's in gray and dark gray. And here we can see the original one with dark red, red, white, and lime green. So yeah, this is actually a rebrick. So it's not the original set, but it's almost 99% like the original, except the two ball turrets on each wing. They are from the first Republic gunship, the 7163. And so yeah. The first one had four of those ball turrets and yeah, that was quite fitting. The, the two are here and two are on the Imperial one. So other than that, the white one is the same. So yeah, got some nice stickers and my Imperial one doesn't come with stickers, but I think it's quite fitting because the Empire isn't that color friendly anymore. So yeah. Let's take a look at the gunship. So let's start with the cockpit. So usually I was planning to uh, choose those parts in lime, light bluish gray, but they aren't that cheap. They are were only available in one Lego set. The box speeder with sidecar, basically the set that Captain Rex Phase 2 came out. And yeah, the part is very expensive, but in dark bluish gray it looks very cool too and you can open up the cockpit like that and let's take a look inside nothing special two pilot seats and i kept the original design with the 10 seats with a nice contrast so here in the front we can open up the side and here is the um vector tank it's quite here we can see it and the original one I will also show you let's grab it from the other gunship so there we can see it's basically color swapped and yeah looks very cool and gray too the white one is also cool so yeah let's put it back in and you also can open up and to put one minifigure inside. Let's close it back. And here we can also open up the front section of the gunship to reveal some interior space. You can see here is a small command post that can be put out and here you can see the lever, control lever, and here is usually a sticker with a display to fold it back in here. And yeah, it's all color swapped. It's all in gray. And I like the brown here. It's a nice contrast. So yeah, pretty cool. And you also can see the ball turrets in the front. They can move in a good angle and direction. I'm a huge fan of those ball turrets and one is in the back too. You also can swivel around and move up and down and shoot some androids and enemies. And here on top you can open up the hatch and usually there are some prop droids inside but I haven't built them yet. We also can see the engines or the front cannons look very cool in this color scheme 
and the back looks like this. <coughs> and you also can fold up the wings. And I was pretty fortunate that I got those in light bluish gray. They came in red in the original set and I was very happy to get those here in Germany because only two of the Bricklink sellers had these available. And you also can open up the doors to reveal some interior for the troops. And you can open up on each side. And here you can see a nice troop bay. Here is a small holder for blasters. Usually there is a speeder bike, but I did not build it. Here you can see some boxes to put some accessories inside. And so yeah, was what I think is a very cool detail. I got the um, printed one, two by two in round. On each side it's from the original TIE Fighter models. It's in light bluish gray, means it was released after 2005. And yeah, it's very cool in my opinion. And on top here you can see some flick fire missiles. I'm a big fan of those. They are so nostalgic. And here's a quick comparison at the end. So yeah, I hope you like my video and my version of my Re Imperial gunship, not Republic one. And yeah, I'm pretty happy how it turned out. Thanks for watching.